You have authority. Act like it. You see, there, there's a couple of things I want to point out in these, in these three verses. If, if you have your Bible, there, there's a little separation um, for the end of 26 into 27, and that comes from a psalm, and, and Jesus is quoting this psalm, and in this psalm, this, this, it is all attributed to the coming Messiah. It's all attributed to who this is. And then Jesus, notice what he says. He gives us the same authority that was given to him in the Psalms. To those who are victorious, who obey me to the very end, you will be given authority over all nations. You will rule the nations with an iron rod and smash them with clay pots. They will have the same authority I received from my father. Now, it's not because you're special or because I'm special. It's not because I'm really great at leadership skills or anything like that that gives me this authority. The thing that gives me this authority is who my dad is, okay? In, in old king's uh, lineage and things like that, when you'd have a dynasty, you would have the king who was the father, and the whole goal was to eventually have a son that would be able to be your heir, to take on the, the throne, and as it was passed down, even before it was passed down, the son had the authority of the father because of who his dad was. And I think so many of us, we, we try to act uh, nice and loving and meek and, and do all these different things that's talked about in the Bible, but then we relinquish our authority. We re relinquish this ability that we have that's given to us, not because of anything that we do, but because of who our dad is. Look at Romans 8, 15 through 17. It says, so you have not received a spirit that makes you fearful slaves. Instead, you received God's spirit when he adopted you as his own children. Now we call him Abba, Father. For his spirit joins with our spirit to affirm that we are God's children. And since we are his children, we are his heirs. In fact, together with Christ, we are heirs of God's glory. But if we share his glory, we must also share his suffering. And we've already talked numerous times in the last couple of weeks about the suffering that's going to happen. And that happens because the world first persecuted Jesus. And so because we share in his inheritance, we share in that power, we share in the future glory, we also share in his suffering. Luke 10, 19 through 20 says it this way. Jesus says, look, I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy and you can walk among snakes and scorpions and crush them. Nothing will injure you, but don't rejoice because evil spirits obey you. Rejoice because your names are registered in heaven. And so again, we are children of God. And if we are children of God, that means that we have authority right now. There's a future reward that's coming where we get to be placed over the nations and we get to be uh, rule them and do all this kind of stuff. And you're not given authority to go around beating people up and, and ruling with like an authoritarian dictatorship. We're given this authority to lead well, to love well, to, to show people what it means to be a child of God. 